Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do the third chapter from your CBSC class 5 syllabus. The name of the chapter is Ricky Tikki Tavi. Isn't that an interesting name? Even the story is interesting too. But before I start the chapter, please click on the subscribe button for more such videos every week. Ricky Tikki Tavi Written by one of the renowned and famous writer Rudyard Kipling Rudyard Kipling, his full name is Joseph Rudyard Kipling. He was born on 30th December 1865. He was an English journalist, short story writer, poet and novelist. He was born in India which inspired most of his work. Kipling's most famous work are The Jungle Book, I'm sure you heard the name, Kim, and the most famous short stories are uh, The Man Who Would Be King, and of course, the story which we are going to do is one of them, that is Ricky Tikki Tavi. Let's discuss the main characters of this story. The main characters are First is the mongoose, then Teddy, in whose house the mongoose lives in, then Teddy's parents, and there are two enemies which will bring the heat in the story. That is Nag and Nagina. Okay, so let's start the story. Ricky Tikki Tavi. So the story talks about the Great War fought between Ricky Tikki Tavi, who is a mongoose, and a pair of cobras in the garden of an English family. Ricky Tikki's name comes from the war cry or the fight which he uh, delivers when he runs through the tall grass. That's how he got its name, Ricky Tikki. One day, Ricky Tikki finds himself in the English family's care after a flood washes him out of his burrow and onto the garden part of the family's home. A young English boy whose name is Teddy finds Ricky Tikki and thinks that he has died. But Teddy's mother suspects that he is still alive. They take the mongoose into the house to dry him and he soon recovers. Being without fear like all his kind, Ricky Tikki was a little different from the other mongoose. So Ricky Tikki begins to explore the whole house. He also climbs on Teddy's shoulder worrying Teddy's mother that maybe it would bite Teddy. But Teddy's father assures every time that he won't hurt Teddy. In fact, the mongoose provides protection from the snakes. At night, Ricky Tikki sleeps in Teddy's bed, though he ventures out and investigates whenever he hears a noise. When the family goes to bed, he patrols the house, he looks after the house. So one day, he hears a sound. The sound of snake scales can be heard moving across the bathrooms, Louis. Ricky Tikki follows the sound to the source, where he hears the two cobras plotting outside of the house. They intend to murder the humans. Teddy's, that is Teddy's parents, causing the mongoose to leave the home and allowing them to rule the garden along with their young ones. That is the Nag Nagina's eggs. Nag crawls into a water jug to wait for Teddy's father, unaware that the mongoose is nearby. Ricky Tikki waits until Nag falls asleep and then strikes at the base of his neck. He hangs on for dear life as the cobra tries to shake him off, only to be interrupted by a blast from Teddy's father, who shots a gun which momentarily stuns everyone, the mongoose and the snake. But Teddy's father proclaims that the little mongoose has saved them all. 
This is how the Nag dies. Ricky Ticky drags himself back to Teddy's room to sleep, awakening the next morning stiff but ready to take on Nagina. Next day, the mongoose destroys the eggs in the nest. The mongoose returns only to find that Nagina is threatening the human at their breakfast table. He even coiled up on Teddy's chair to hurt him. Nagina immediately attacks him and Ricky Ticky fights bravely with the Nagina and he eventually emerges having slain the cobra and saved the garden. So after the battle, when he wakes up, he goes back to the house and enjoys food from the table and the affection of the humans, of Teddy's parents who were really grateful to the mongoose. He remains on guard, however, and keeps the household free of snakes from that point on. So, this is all about the story of Ricky Tiki Tavi. Hope you enjoyed the story. So, we will meet again next week for our next lesson. Thank you.